Welcome back everyone to Tuesday Totals. This is every sale that I made ending on Tuesday, September 15th, 2020. Nothing big, nothing that by itself is super impressive this time, just a bunch of standard by the book sales. Let's just get through them. Sold another one of these Neutrogena Hydro Boost water gels, $8.99 plus shipping for that one. Sold two of these Flower Beauty all-in-one uh, Brow Master mascaras. Those were listed on eBay where you could choose the quantity. They chose two. $14.38 for those two plus shipping. Getting into the music, we've got a CD. The Abyssinians, I think that's how you say it. The Abyssinians, Sada Masagana. Hey, if I said that wrong, I really apologize. That one went for $5.99 plus shipping. And we've seen this arrangement before. Excursion Records back stock, six records. $8.99 plus shipping on eBay. Here we have the Give, Heaven is Waiting 7-inch. React Records, I sold another one of these recently. The difference with this one is it's the rejected first press. Uh, it's a little hard to explain. The first pressing of this record was rejected and sent back because the vinyl was bowed, meaning there's a little bit of what they call a pressing warp. It's almost impossible to see. And then there was a second pressing without that bowing that was released. Black vinyl, same labels and everything. It just had a little note in the record that explained why these records were sent back. In the meantime, a few of the first version had been sent out to the band and such. I got a hold of one of them back then. It sold for $14.99 plus shipping. And a HIMSA Courting Tragedy and Disaster LP picture disc. Don't have many of these left, but I do have a couple. This one sold for $14.99 plus shipping. I think I said last week that I expected to have a lot more miniatures sell. I did sell quite a few more miniatures. And I think that's going to be the case going forward for a while. I listed a lot of miniatures this week. So let's get into these. This is a Judge Dread miniature. Looks an awful lot like a Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader error miniature. This is Judge Anderson on foot. Sold for $9.99 plus shipping. This one is an older Rogue Trader era 40k miniature by Citadel. This is a Hive Worlder Space Pirate. It also sold for $9.99 plus shipping. <laughs> On this one, I wasn't actually sure. This is either a Git Launcher or a uh, Catapult for Doom Divers. Not 100%. It's little goblins that get launched up in the air and hang glide down. Warhammer Fantasy, made by Citadel, $14.99 plus shipping. Also by Citadel for Warhammer Fantasy, or Age of Sigmar as it's called now. I don't know when Warhammer Fantasy stops and Age of Sigmar begins, so it's Warhammer Fantasy to me. The Goblin Squig Hound, $12.99 plus shipping. Here's a Rogue Trader Era Imperial Assassin. I think this might be the first Assassin miniature they put out for Warhammer 40k. $17.99 plus shipping for that one. Alright, moving into plastic miniatures. This is a lot of 24, uh, I believe it's all Citadel, Warhammer Fantasy, Beastmen, Skaven, and Rats. Skaven are like rat creatures that are humanoid, but then there's also rats in this one. Really not terribly important details. $15.99 plus shipping. All right, another bag of plastics. This is a lot of more than 60 orcs and goblins and what are considered green skins in the game. Warhammer Fantasy by Citadel, $31 for those plus shipping. And finally, a batch of miniatures that I featured in a video a couple weeks back about helping me identify some miniatures. Most of these were identified in that video, so thank you everyone who helped out with that. This is 55 Warhammer 40k and Warzone miniatures with possibly some unidentified. Sold for $36 on eBay plus shipping. Okay, so here we are with the final total. This week we had 14 transactions for 14 different listed items for a total of $217.27. That's quite a bit less than the last few weeks, but I totally understand why. Those were big, kind of impressive weeks with some really choice items going out. Everything here stayed in the kind of small to medium range in terms of what I sell. A lot of miniatures, a lot of kind of lower priced items and records, but you know, still 14. It's not terribly bad. Two things a day. I need to get that number up, but you know, it is what it is. I'll take it. I'm going to keep doing it. So I will see you next week. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.
Thanks.